Hello, my name is Ron Ashtiani and I'm the Creative Director for The Realm Project. My name is Tom Surtees and I'm the Technical Director on The Realm. My name is Andrew Curtis, I'm Design Director on The Realm. We'd like your support to help us launch an epically beautiful and innovative point and click adventure on Kickstarter. The Realm started off as an internal Atomhawk project. And for those of you who don't know Atomhawk Design, we're a world-leading art studio. We've worked on some amazing projects, including Dust 514, Mortal Kombat, Driver San Francisco, and Dead Island, to name just a few. At Atomhawk, we have some of the best artists and illustrators in the world. And so being able to make our own internal project has been a real labor of love for us. I've never stopped thinking about making games. I started as a kid on Commodore 64 making animated sprites and it wasn't until I moved to Gremlin Graphics in the mid-90s that I decided to make a career of it. After Gremlin, I moved to Computer Artworks, which is where I met Tom and Andy. We all worked together on the number one charting game, The Thing, based on John Carpenter's horror film. But unfortunately, the studio closed a year later and we all went our separate ways. We've stayed in touch and we've been trying to find a way to work together ever since. After working with Ron and Tom, I moved on to head up the design of various games at EA before moving on to Guerrilla and Supermassive Games. When the guys asked me to come on board to design a point-and-click adventure for today's players, I jumped at the chance. I've since been designing an experience that will appeal to fans of point-and-click games like Monkey Island or Machinarium, but also one that invokes a sense of epic scale and the emotional journey from Ico. The realm follows the journey of a determined girl and a very powerful stone golem. In the game, you will need to use Toru and Serena's unique abilities to solve puzzles, explore the world, and avoid its dangers. Initially, when they meet, uh, Serena is scared of Toru, but over time, they grow, a uh, friendship develops between them, and you'll actually see that happening in the game. Serena's mother falls sick, um, and so she heads off on a dangerous journey to find a magical flower which has healing properties. And then along the way she meets Toru, a creature of legend. So while Toru is immensely powerful, he's also quite naive about the world. And so we have these cool mechanics where Serena can teach Toru new abilities. And that opens up exciting new paths and possibilities for the game. We moved away from traditional activities like randomly clicking on the screen or testing out inventory items on things. So when you move to an interactive object, it will highlight and a number of options specific to the character will become available. Well, I started programming video games way back when I was 10 years old. I was lucky enough to work at Sega on the much-loved Dreamcast console. When I met Warren at GDC last year, I was really impressed with the artwork they created on the realm. And I said to everyone, you know, Let's make a game out of this. We've come up with a system whereby we can combine Atom Hawk's beautiful hand-drawn artwork seamlessly 
with 3D graphics in order to create this incredible looking immersive experience. We're also excited to have Richard Jakes, award winning composer on board to make the soundtrack. The realm is set in a far distant future when nature has reclaimed the earth and myth and magic is on the rise. I love the mixture of art, I love that it's it's not just one person that's worked on it, it's a, it's a collective of, of different artists and each of us have our own inspirations and so it, it, it comes together really well I think. So why Kickstarter? Well, our passion for this project has driven us to spend our spare time, our money and our energy on everything you've seen in this video and a lot more besides. But we can't afford to make it into the truly epic game that it can be without your help. I believe we've got a winning combination of game design, art, music, and we're really passionate about creating the best possible game we can, but we need your support. We're really excited about this project and especially doing it on Kickstarter, which will allow us to stay true to our game and to what you, the gamer, would want to see in it.